So we've done we've done adding and subtracting of fractions just like we did last year with a little bit of variables thrown in there. Okay, to make it algebraic questioning rather than just arithmetic questioning. Do not make physical contact. Okay, put your knees under your desk. Take your binder off your desk. Take your binder off your desk. Okay. We're going to practice a little bit with um, how to I've about 10 people who have messed up their homework and they wanted an extra sheet, but no, I'm not going to be wasting paper. Okay? Yes, thank you. So I want you to turn your nerd turn your nerds over. Turn your notes over. Turn your notes. Yes, sir. Oh no. So turn your notes over and we are going to do something. I want you to make a box. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it up here as well. We're going to practice how you're going to be doing homework. I want you to make a box that has nine squares in it. Make a box that has nine squares in it, please. You don't need to speak. No, we are not doing third grade math. Don't, don't sep why are you separated? We're on the back of your notes. So if you're doing it and it looks like this, can I steal this? Like Jamichael's doing, you're doing it right. Mm -hmm. So you're doing, just make a square and go a third, a line, a third, a line. Now when you're doing your homework, there's going to be situations where we're going to have to be doing two different kinds of shading. Um, you can use colored pencils with this, but if you mess up, it's not going to be clear. So here's how I want you to do this. If you are representing, you know what, let's add one more. Add one more to the bottom. If you were going to be shading one-fourth, you are going to take the side that has four sections. See how there's one, two, ooh, two, three, four. See how that way there's four equal sections? When I want you to shade it, you're going to do it diagonal one way. So I want you to shade it in like this. We're going to shade one of those fourths. So you're doing it diagonal in one direction. I see people not doing straight lines. Okay, diagonal in one of the directions. Now, if I wanted to shade one third, so you should be done shading, all right? I feel a lot, see a lot of people here, a lot of people doing like a whole bunch of shading, just diagonal in one direction. If I wanted to shade one third, I'm going to choose a side that has split into thirds. And I'm going to shade in the other diagonal direction. You can have your hand be the same way, you can just flip the paper, okay? So I'm going to have it be diagonal in the other direction. You see how you can clearly see what is a third and what is a fourth? Yeah. See how you can clearly see what ones are shaded in twice? Right? You should be able to clearly see what square is shaded twice. The one on the upper left is shaded twice. Okay, now we can start the lesson. Mm. We have three-fifths times one-fourth. You guys had how to multiply by fractions last year. Okay? You guys had how to multiply by fractions last year. It's easier than addition and subtraction. Okay? It's easier than addition and subtraction of fractions. Now, the difference is I want you to understand how it's done. Okay? In seventh grade, you will not be using a calculator except for a couple of weeks in third quarter. Um, a couple of weeks in third quarter because people understood how a calculator works, but then they started to rely on it, and that's why you're not allowed to do it, okay? With this one, you, under, you knew how to multiply numbers together and by fractions last year, 
but you didn't really understand possibly. Okay, I'm going to remind you understanding what's actually happening when you're modeling multiplication. Okay, so it says here, three fifths times one fourth. Divide the rectangle into into fifths. So we have one, two, three, four, five. When we're doing our homework tonight, I recommend that you take the longest side and break that side up into even squares. Okay? Then it says break it the triangle, what? Break the rectangle into fourths. One, two, three, four. So check. Check. How many boxes are shaded? Whoops. Oh, and shade three of the fifths. Jumping ahead of myself here. Shade in three of the fifths. So the way that we just did on the back side, I'm going to do that. So I'm doing three of the fifths. Here are the fifths that go up and down, right? Don't the fifths go up and down? I'm going to shade in three of those. So let's shade. Keeping those all in that angle. I have three of the three fifths shaded. Then I'm going to divide the rectangle into fourths and shade one of those fourths. The fourths go left and right. So I'm going to shade those. Doing the other direction to shade. It's not a pleasant sound. Mm -hmm. My knee's cracking. Not pr probably not yet. So then it says, how many boxes are shaded with both colors? So if you did this correctly, it should pop out at you. How many that are shaded with both colors? They had it going diagonal left and diagonal right. Aiden? Okay, so let's not even imagine those numbers being there. How many boxes, specifically, not the name of them, but how many boxes there are three boxes, so three boxes. And how many boxes are there all together? Count those. There are 20 boxes because we have five on one side, four on the other, four times five is 20. We have 20. What do you think the answer of three fifths times one fourth is? Megan? Three twentieths is correct. Three twentieths is the answer to that fraction problem. Okay, that the the product of that frac those two fractions together. Joe. Wouldn't it just be easier to multiply the denominator? And that's why I'm saying now we have a better understanding as to what's happening when we multiply fractions. That's what I mean by that. Because you guys know how to do that. Yes, we could multiply them together. We could, but this is going to be the uh, best way to do it. Or this is going to be the best way to understand or re-understand what's actually happening. Yeah. And I wasn't laughing at it. I admired it. Multiplying across better? Your boxes are wrong. That is not what mine looks like. Yeah. Everybody, double check and make sure that your boxes look exactly like this, because that you would have been, you would have had a lot of points taken off. That's kind of like doing the adding and subtracting of integers, where you probably liked it without the mats. Okay, you probably liked it without the mats, but we did it with the mats. Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. Because I almost fell. Now, for this next section, you are going to be using your school-issued straight edge, which is your ID that's around your neck. Now, the uh, some of you who don't have it, some of you don't like to wear your ID, but the bottom line is this. If you think you look uncool because you wear your ID, if everybody looks uncool, 
then nobody's uncool. Okay? Or... Okay. If you think that wearing your ID is uncool, everybody has to wear their ID, so it's it's not possibly to be uncool. I'm not saying it's like, hey, check out my ID. It goes great with my shirt. Yeah. I'm not saying we're gonna act like that. No. I couldn't stand wearing my ID, and ours didn't have breakaway, so there'd be people walking through the hall and be like, Phew. you know. So the hardest part for some of you is going to be to put these into equal boxes. But if you're using a straight edge, mm -hmm. if you're using your straight edge, it's going to work because you're going to have straight lines. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I want you to take note of something. Use the denominators. Am I writing it down? Then yes. Use the denominators to set your columns and rows buds. No, rows. Yeah, they did row the boat. Use the denominators to set your columns and rows. So I'm going to take, I'm going to make my big one be the columns. Wrong view. There we go. To set your columns and your rows. So I have, stop tapping your pens on your desk or whatever it is. Stop writing other people's papers. So in order to do this evenly, or to have the best, most accurate way of doing it, thank you. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to eyeball it first. Make sure that you're going in the middle. Okay? I'm going to make some dash marks there. And whenever you're doing um, eighths, all you have to do is do half, multiply that by half, multiply that by half, multiply that by half. Now I'm going to use my straight edge to do these. Okay, so there's your strategy that you're going to use. But I'm going to take advantage of technology while you're doing those lines. Create. Because I drew it crooked when it was small, so when it expands, it's going to be bigger. There, I made my eight columns. Same way that you guys are supposed to be doing when I was doing that, for all of you who have blanks. Good idea. Yep. So we've made eight even, uh, eight even columns. Now, if you're wondering which one is a column, which one is a row, just letting you guys know that it's it's the Colosseum. The roof was held up by columns, and they go up and down, right? Columns go up and down. So we've taken care of that one. Now we have to do five rows the other direction. So that one might not be as easy. <laughs> Excuse me. That might not be as easy because it's not an even thing to break up. So I'm just going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, it's a little uneven, but you know what? Yours are going to be a little uneven tonight as well. So now we're making five columns, or five rows rather. It's not going to work. Okay, Destiny's Child is not in math today. Mm. I 
cannot get it. So we were making five even rows, or as even as we can make them. Ew. Oh my goodness. Apparently these guys do not want to be clicked. Why do you keep going up? Okay, finally, I have five columns. My goodness. Or five rows. So I have five rows here. Do you agree? Okay. Now, as we had in the example in the first one, what we had to do was we had to fill in the numerator amount of those. So I'm going to fill in the numerator amount of those. So I have to get seven of those eights. Now, are they split up in eights? In rows or columns? They're columns. The columns are split up. So I'm going to fill in seven of these. I'm filling in seven of the eight columns. Now I hear people scribbling, scribbling, scribbling. How are you supposed to do it? Lines. Diagonal lines. This makes me nervous. The computer is acting so strange. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to fill in how many fifths are we supposed to fill in, folks? There, we are going to fill in two of them. And I want you guys to pause when, when you're... Uh, so I need to show you what I'm about to do so you don't freak out. Now, um, so push pause on what you're doing. I'm going to do this two fifths, okay? When we did the diagonal left and the diagonal right, it created like lattice inside the one where they're both used, right? Okay, when you when you be using watercolors as a kid, when you combined blue and yellow, what did you get? Green. It was green. Okay, so we got that established. I'm going to color in two of these fifths. Okay, I'm going to color in... Why am I doing one of your homework problems? I'm doing one of your homework problems for you. Whoops. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to do two of these fifths, but there's a lot of people who are doing this wrong. I want to make sure it doesn't happen. I'm doing two of these fifths, and they're broke up in fifths like this. One, two, three, four, five. So to fill in two of these fifths, I have to go all the way down here. Whoa. Now, when it turns green, those are the ones that are shared, kind of like the lattice that we did. Okay? Okay? So... Now we have to think how many of those are green. How many boxes are the green? How many boxes are green? Count them. How many, Aiden? Okay, none of your names are Aiden except for Aiden. Aiden? Because you're the one who was called on.
seven of them. Seven. Yes, there we go. Fourteen. There are fourteen that are colored in both, and how many total are there? Okay. Forty. So that is what the answer would be, but I want you to simplify it. But I want you to simplify it. It would be seven. Seven? No. Seven over twenty. Good. Seven over twenty is the correct answer. Seven over twenty. So I expect you guys to have that. Now here's what was happening. Um, here's what was happening when people would come up asking me questions today. They would be asking me about. Where's white? There it is. They would ask me a question, and this here. Whoops. This here wouldn't be shaded in. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Okay. That wouldn't be shaded in. That's wrong. Okay. That's wrong. You need to have it shaded in. Okay, so um, that's your homework. You may begin. <laughs>